Today is the 31st of January, Sunday. Um, we've got a nice wind blowing through the windows. Um, <clears throat> this morning I quickly did my washing and when I got to the lines it's a bit high and I'm short. Um, but I'm able to reach them is just that you're hanging everything way up there. So, um, I guess I have to get used to that, um, because I'm always used to lines being a bit not so tight. Um, like for instance, back home, um, I first have to find the washing lines because we've got this very big yard. And, um, so... When I go out there to find the tree, and after the tree, I have to walk and walk straight past the tree and hold my hand up in the air until I hit the, one of the lines um, because I don't know where the pole is. And I do tend to walk skew, so <laughs> I sometimes walk way past the line of my hand up in the air, and then I realize, nope, I've gone way too far. Um, but luckily, in at the storm, you just walk out the door, put up your hand, and then if you put it high enough, you eventually find the line. Um, so today, um, I'm going to look around online, do some blind window shopping. And then this afternoon, hopefully, I'll be going to my friend. And um, she always has creams and stuff um, that she doesn't want. So maybe I'll be coming back with some, it depends. And I heard that she's got a cat, a cute little kitty cat. And I love cats. Um, I've seen one of those cats online that looks and feels just like a real cat. But they don't sell it in South Africa. And I would have loved to have one of those kitty cats here in my room. Because, um, because then I can pretend that I've got a pet again. Um, because I'm not allowed to have my former Aiden in here. Except for a guide dog, which I don't have anymore. Since my guide dog died in 2018. And even now I still miss her. And... Um, so one of those kitties would have been like a nice de-stressor for me. Um, tomorrow we officially start of class and I must say I'm, I'm, I'm quite curious and um, interested in the subjects because um, it seems like things that I know and that are easy. And at least we can choose in one of our classes whether we want to work with Word or Excel. And I told my teacher I'll stay far away from Excel because that program is not friends with me. I always hate that program. I don't like that one. And um, I so I chose Word. <coughs> we have like our classes are called communication. Then we've got computer practice, then we've got office practice, and then we have information processing or IP. And um, the only thing that makes me a bit nervous is the fast typing part, because I can type fast, but not lightning fast. Um, more on my own face, you could say. So I'm a bit worried about that, because... I'm not sure what the speed is that they want. I just hope it, it's not supersonic speed because then I've got a problem. Um, and then I also spoke to the lady that tested me at the Ear Institute in Cape Town. And um, she spoke to someone here at Dalabat School for the Deaf. Also, Sorry, but I'm going to say the word a bit slow. Audiologist. <laughs> um, she spoke to him or her. And then they asked if um, 
this person can help me with um, some loner hearing aids that, that they found. So this means I'll be getting hearing aids maybe this month or sometime. Um, I'll know in this week. Um, the only thing is, it, it's not rechargeable. It works with batteries. Um, so, um, I'm also a bit nervous because uh, I'm not sure what I'll do when I get these hearing aids. Um, because I either have to go to the school, um, which might not be a problem because the, the people here at this hostel, they, they always help. So, all the person's going to come here, I don't know. But he's a private person, so um, they'll be doing the Ear Institute a big favour. And with my fundraiser so far, I've managed to get 1,000 from my aunt as a birthday gift, 100 rand from an unknown donor, and 2,000 rand from my brother's boss. Um, when my brother shared the fundraiser, I think the guy saw it or something, and he um, gave my brother 2,000 rand. And so on Friday, I sent him a letter to say thank you. And every donation that I get is, it means a lot to me. And if it weren't for Corona, um, if a person was close by, I would have gone there and given them a big hug because this is how I always say thank you to people. I was raised with hugging people and I'm still like that. Um, it always feels complete when I give someone up and I know, okay, um, now I did say thank you. But if I don't give people hugs, then it feels strange, it feels different, it feels incomplete. But yeah, <laughs> it might sound strange, but yes, this is how I always say thank you to someone. And what else? Um, I'm probably also going to make myself some coffee. I moved my kettle a bit on the table because the, it's not a cordless one and um, the cable seems to get stuck around things and then I can't tip over the kettle very well so I decided to move everything a bit so that the cable is free because I don't want to um, start my semester with um, a nasty burn or something because <laughs> um, I know what it feels like I did make uh, I did have an accident before a long time ago where um, I was pouring some water in my cup and I ended up with some of the water not inside the cup but on the other end where I was holding on to it. So <laughs> but that was a blind moment, so yeah, that's how you learn at the end. And yeah, so we'll see what happens here in the day and thank you so much for watching and for those that maybe subscribe. I appreciate it and thank you so much for hanging around so I'll try to make more updates and maybe think about something to do or make a video or so I hope that you guys will have a nice day and please keep safe. Viewfinder, image, stop recording video.